we have started a new series in which i'm going to answer the questions that you have asked i'm going to say ask amir ali you ask i will answer today we pick five top most question that student have asked us directly on my whatsapp message on email address on my live coaching calls and multiple other mediums so those five questions are what is the difference between issue log and risk register and i'm going to go deep into that and i will go one by one to all those question first of all a very important thing to understand is that issue versus risk so what is issue and what is risk risk is any uncertain event okay risk is any uncertain event which you identify before happening so something that you identify before it actually happens is risk so risk comes as r into p into impact it goes into risk register anything that you identify before it happens is a risk you plan for it you set a risk owner you set a risk trigger to handle these particular things so you identify it you put it in order and you work on all these things these are risk another interesting thing when anything goes into a risk register and let's say you put a trigger on it and the risk occurred as a result of that you have a secondary risk or residual risk they will also go into risk register if you identify them before happening one more time anything that you identify before happening is a risk even when it will occur you will update the risk register i hope this makes sense issue uh, one more thing risk can be positive and negative issue is always negative you identify it after it has happened issue can affect scope quality anything but you identify issue once it has occurred not before it has happened you put the issue into issue log always negative can be positive can be negative only identify once it has happened uh, identified before it happens any problem in the project whenever any problem in the project occurred you identify oh this problem has occurred what will you do you will always update issue log so issue log and risk register and risk they are important things for your pmp exam and i hope this make sense to you so this was the question number 1 i hope you understand it perfectly let's go to the question number 2 the second question is about difference between risk management plan and risk register so difference between risk management plan and risk register first of all why this even confusion occurred you see we have stakeholder register and stakeholder engagement plan you identify the stakeholder put it into the stakeholder register you categorize them you prioritize them and work with them so that goes into stakeholder register and then after checking their engagement then you make a stakeholder engagement plan this thing happens first and this thing happens second whereas in the case of risk what happens first you make risk management plan that talks about how you are going to identify the risk that's it how you are going to identify the risk how you are going to work on the risk what are the things in the risk register things like that what uh, like probability and impact definition will be here which scales you are going to use is your organization risk seeker averse neutral tolerance of the risk risk appetite all those things goes into risk management plan and that's it and that's it there is nothing else in the risk management plan no strategies how to engage with the stakeholder nothing else what do we do after risk management plan we make a risk register 
risk register has list of all the risk all the risk their owners who will handle the risk the triggers when the risk is going to occur their responses of course the prioritization residual risk and all those things are in the risk register so that's the difference between risk management plan and risk register risk management plan just talks about uh, how to do the risk management risk register has the list of risk potential responses the detailed responses their prioritization qualitative and quantitative uh, the risk response plan risk owner trigger a uh, secondary risk residual risk and every single thing so risk management plan and risk register another important question that may have been asked here do you need a change request to put something into stakeholder register and risk register you don't need a change request to put anything into the stakeholder register and risk register you can directly put something into there but after putting something into stakeholder register and risk register if you want to update plans risk management plan or communication plan or any other plans if you have to update risk management plan then you need a change request so that's a big difference between risk management plan risk register stakeholder register and i hope the question number 2 is clear to you i did add a, add a bonus question for you guys so actually we have added answer three questions i always like to over deliver and over promise to all of you okay uh, oh actually the third question is what we just answered when stakeholder is identified do we need a change request so question number 3 a stakeholder a new stakeholder is identified stakeholder is identified we put them into stakeholder register whenever throughout the project whenever a new stakeholder is identified you directly put them into the stakeholder register you don't need a change request to do that this is an important and a critical thing you don't need a change request to put it into the stakeholder register now once you put in the stakeholder register we will classify them upward downward sideward inward outward internal external we do the classification then we do prioritization power interest base we look at that their what is their power what is their interest where do they fall depending upon that their high power their high interest and things like that we look, look into that still no change request required now let's say we find out they are high power high interest and we make in stakeholder engagement matrix their engagement level required us to update stakeholder engagement plan we need to update strategies to handle them now you need a change request now you need a change request what does that mean stakeholder register does not require change request if you want to add a stakeholder you don't need to update the stakeholder engagement plan every single time but if you have to update stakeholder engagement plan then you need to raise a change request for that in simple words you don't need to update you don't need a change request to update any documents like risk register stakeholder register issue log but to update any plan you do need a change request i hope this clarifies you this clarifies the confusion that you may have so this is the question number 3 question number 4 closing uh, flow of the closing if you may closing so first of all when when we do closing when the project is accepted the deliverables are completed we ask the sponsor sponsor ask us okay initiate the closing he give the approval then you do the closing when your business case is not relevant or the benefits are not relevant at any time you uh, start closing the project your sponsor ask you okay they are not relevant start the closing you do the closing of the project when sponsor actually calls you that the start the closing you close it it can be that your organization went to merger and now your project is out of the organizational strategy you do closing when project is 100% completed or client says it is not needed so all these steps are for closing the deliverable is accepted you start closing the project the deliverable is accepted you start closing the project. steps for the closing if we ask that 
the deliverables have been accepted or whatever is the reason you start the closing the first step is always to get approval for the closing and approval should be from sponsor no one else from the sponsor you get a approval okay i can start closing good now we start closing the project we have the approval now we start closing the project okay the first thing is that deliverables are accepted they are converted they are given to the client you start writing final report this is the first thing after this you start start updating lesson learn register project documents once the final report is written you share it to the sponsor and if the sponsor approved it uh, you share among all the stakeholder according to communication management plan lesson learn registers are put into lesson learn repository and uh, project documents are archived once all these things are done or uh, you start closing the projects and you, once you start closing the project you release the team and you celebrate the success so these are the steps that we follow in closing of this project i hope that makes sense okay step question number 5 is flow of issue so you have identified let me use another color marker issue how to handle issue log the process used to handle issue log okay so issue we discussed about the issue uh, any uncertain and any event that occurred that you has not identified it has occurred any event occurred the first thing is you put it into the issue log step 1 is that straight forward you put the thing that into the issue log then you do the root cause of that rca why the issue was not identified before why the issue was not identified before this is a very important thing the issue has occurred you put it into the issue log now you identify by why it was not identified before okay you do the root cause analysis and then you raise a change request to, to see if the change request is needed you raise a change request to handle that issue once the change request is approved you implement that you implement change request you implement okay now this is the change request you implemented it now change request has been implemented now step number 5 you update issue log now you update issue log that this issue has been resolved put the issue to issue log root cause analysis why it was not identified raise a change request uh, implement the change request update the issue log now we put the lesson into the lesson learn register so that this thing does not occur in other project please understand lesson learn register is for future project issue log is for the current project you put it into the lesson learn register so that this does not come again and at the end you put this into lesson learn repository so this becomes flow of issue log so these were the five questions that you wanted me to ask answer i hope these make sense i try to go as detail as possible so that you can understand and solve the question my goal with you is to that you become certified pmp in the minimum possible time and that is the purpose why i'm making this videos if you haven't taken the training you can join in our batch program and in one to one program we work with the students till the last responsible moment we work with them till they become certified pmp we have more than 285 pmp as of today that is 22 of uh, october and my numbers of students are increasing if you want to become just contact on the number given below or on the email wherever you are watching we have physical training coming in dubai we have we do every month batch program and at any time you can join one to one program one more thing uh, when you like comment and subscribe our youtube channel my commitment goes very high so please do like this do subscribe this i hope you consider it now and you become our subscriber and you learn from us thank you very much and do share it with your friends